what's going on guys so in today's video i'll be walking you guys through a new pop-up video pack that i created for you guys you can find that right in the description box below all right guys let's get started so I assume by now you know how to install plugins when it comes to Final Cut Pro. If not, then you can check on this video card here. I made a video on that. When you install the plugin, you can find it under titles. I name it RJ Pop-Up Video. And over there, it comes in three main categories. That's horizontal, square, and vertical. With the horizontal, if you have a YouTube video, that's gonna fit very well for that. And with the vertical, if you have IG videos, TikTok, and YouTube short, then vertical format is gonna fit very well for that. With the square, it comes in one is to one ratio. That's 1080 by 1080. So if you have a timeline like that, then you can use that very format. But with this very tutorial, I'm gonna use one from the horizontal category. But when you follow the steps, you can use the same for the rest of the format. So with this, we'll go with left pop-up video. You have your video on your timeline. That's the main workout that you're doing so you just drag this and drop it on your timeline so with this plugin pack it comes with the on-screen control you can easily increase the size by just clicking here and also change the position of it by just clicking on it and dragging to wherever you want it to be let's go back to default settings command z then you go to your right side that's where i provide you guys with a lot of parameters that you really need for this very plugin so in animation and out animation that's the animation that comes in and out if you don't want it i'll show you guys let me take in animation off then play it you can see it's already on the screen but when you take that and play it it comes in nice and clean so if you don't want that you can just take it off overall scale that's for the whole plugin also with the on screen the same thing it does the same thing but if you don't want you can just use the parameters over here command z to go back and also with the overall position you use the x and y axis to place it exactly where you want it to be now the drop zone that's where you place your video source in so for instance those of you into fitness tutorials and all that if you want your next video to come in before it really shows this is a kind of plugin pack that you really need so with this we'll just click on that go to your browser select the next exercise you want it to show so this will be our next exercise click on that apply clip and right over there you can see it shows on the screen so i'll play for you guys as you can see it comes in showing the next exercise that is going to come in and with this you can just place a video on that but let's say if you have a video on your timeline let me put this video on my timeline there's one trick when it comes to drop zone in final cut pro so with this let me click on this select this as a video source apply clip as you can see it doesn't show a video it shows as an image and we don't want that effect let me close that you have to make a compound clip of that video you want to select so with this just make a compound clip let's name it next video and now we we'll click on our plugin pack click on the video source select the compound clip that we just created click on apply clip and now as you can see final cut pro is able to identify it as a video now video controls with this you can increase the video itself that comes in the plugin you can just increase the size of it and also change the rotation of it if i really want to rotate it we leave it at default settings and also when you go to the position i can easily drag using the x and y axis to place it exactly where i want the video to be and now the bar controls if you want to change the color of the bar you can just click on that and change the color right here if you want red we can leave it that and also if you want the opacity of it to go down maybe you don't want the bar you can just click that decrease it and it's going to go to zero and then you can take off the bar itself now we'll go to the title controls let's say if you want to add next video we'll just write it here or let's say if you want to write the exercise itself we'll just write back workout and it's going to show then change the font size over here and the style and anything right here let's say if you want oblique bold we can change it here the size we can easily increase it here to whatever size we want and also with the opacity we can change the opacity down let's say if you don't want the title to show you can just easily 
take it down and it's going to disappear but for now let's leave it at default settings and also the color we can change it right on this side and also with the position we can change the position of the test that we just did so as you can see very easy to drag and drop on your timeline it comes with a lot of parameters that you really need and makes your life easy but if you want to create this from the scratch on your own then you can check on this and also if you want to see more videos on Final Cut Pro you can check on this Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.